Good evening. I'm going to take a look at um, Iron Springs. Uh, hold on. Is it Iron Springs? Iron Springs Scotch Ale. Uh, yeah, Iron Springs Brewing Company's um, Winter Scotch Ale. And I have this beer on Home Tap. Um, uh, that I poured. So um, I love the Home Tap because I have a two liter bottle that is that has a compressor that hooks up to it and keeps it um, that's not pumping air because the bottle the, the beer does not touch air. But anyway, um, and pours a fresh draft beer. So uh, we're gonna take a look at this lovely beer. It's twin. Mm, not even twenty five IBUs. Ten IBUs. Ten IBUs and eight percent alcohol by volume. Um, I like Scotch Ale a lot because it always has that um, deeply malty flavor to it um, and low bitterness, which is totally my thing. So when I smell it, um, I get all these lovely roasty malts. Um, mm. It's got this beautiful amber color, deep amber cover, color, almost brown. Um, this didn't pour super heady. Uh, necessarily, the last one I had poured was a little heady, more heady, but um, let's go ahead and taste. Mm. Um, it has like this nice kind of sm not smoky, um, mm. peat moss kind of pipe tobacco quality. Mm. Leathery almost even. It's just very um, earthy and deep and complex. Um, I re God, I love scotch ales. All right, I feel like I need to do a whole scotch ale review with people if I can get them to buy scotch ales. And I was um, talking about scotch ales with... Um, some people from uh, the UK and they had a little bit different opinion of them so it would be interesting to kind of compare American scotch ales specifically you know the ones that I get here in, in California versus the ones that the other people in the beer review community can get because um, it's such an interesting beer but um, anyway um, it's deeply roasty um, you know so it has those hints of, of, of coffee and acrid um, in it but it doesn't it's not bitter, um, you know, and it kind of resolves into a softness and you get like this pipe tobacco flavor or leather flavor, leather smell even. You can, this smell of leather, kind of earthy, um, peat mossy. Um, this has a nice body to it. It's um, kind of a medium, medium body. Great beer. Has a little nutty quality to it, even. Just like a tiny bit. Um, really a great beer. I really like Scotch Ales a lot. Um, pretty much whenever I can grab them, I do. Um, and at 8% alcohol, you know, it's a nice, warm um, uh, winter brew. And so, um, you know, aptly named as, as Winter Scotch um, uh, winter Scotch Ale. So, anyway, um, this is out of Alam no, I almost call it Alameda Island because I'm always thinking about them. Iron Springs, um, who makes some really great beers. Iron Springs Brewing Company, um, and I can't think of what city that they're in right now, but I have a link so we can, we can check them out. Um, uh, Fairfax, California, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to drive through that area this weekend tomorrow so maybe I will stop at Iron Springs specifically um, because I really enjoy uh, the beers that they put out um, so now I'm inspired um, so stay tuned from more beers from Iron Springs um, they're always enjoyable if you're in the Bay Area get your hands on them um, if you're not gonna drive to Fairfax you can get them through Hopsy um, which you can see up here uh, right there Hi, Hopsy, um, where you can order um, growlers uh, to be delivered or for pickup. They have a, a storefront in Albany 
Um, really amazing place. Great guys. Go say hi uh, and grab some beers from them. Um, anyway, cool. If this is a beer that you've had, uh, I would love for you to share with me. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night.